from new to methylene blue, USP grade for about 10 days. After five days, I experienced what I believe is a detox phenomenon. Liver, pancreas, kidneys were throbbing. Did I experience detox? This is a fantastic question. And the answer is probably yes. The way I think about methylene blue is almost like an adaptogen in the sense that it can help with energy production or it can help with detox, primarily depending on what's required. And what happens when you detox? You start binding up inflammation. You start binding up free radicals. When you do this, the body starts to need to get rid of these free radicals, these oxidative molecules. And that requires the system to detoxify. And so symptoms like joint pain, inflammation, headaches, irritability, these are your detox kinds of symptoms. You can absolutely get these with methylene blue. If you start off at a low dose though, if you start off at two, four milligrams and go very slowly, oftentimes these symptoms are pretty mild. The challenge out there is that there's a lot of products that come in liquid or other forms that are telling you to take 50, 70, 80 milligrams of methylene blue off the bat. This is just going to set you up for a world of hurt, especially if you have a lot of detox to go. And so oftentimes in my clinical practice, if I know that somebody has a lot of detox ongoing, what I'm going to do is support their detox pathways. Not only am I giving them methylene blue, but I'm thinking about antioxidant repletion, like your glutathione or vitamin D or melatonin, which is a fantastic antioxidant. Most people don't know that, but also binders as well, activated charcoal, clays. These can be very, very helpful as well. So in the end, you don't want to do this on your own, typically. You really want to work with a healthcare provider that knows detox well, and then you can use methylene blue as a detoxifier in this capacity and see fantastic benefit. Because what often happens after you go through a little bit of that detox, that the, some of the pain, the discomfort, the inflammation, the irritability, on the other side of that is fantastic. And I've seen this time and time again. The key is to support people in my clinical practice while they're going through that detox phase. Once you do that and they get to the other side, it's fantastic oftentimes how people feel. Mm -hmm.